Hey, hi there. We're getting, <laughs> we're gonna get set up here. Got some issues here. Just bear with me. We're getting our things going here. All right. We are broadcasting live on our internet radio station, and we're talking here on Periscope this morning. All right. So here we go. This is the 0900 prayer request time. Broadcasting live also. Well, um, yes, I got to do this here. And uh, we want to start archiving everything. All right. I, I hope that we are getting things going here. I hope. Uh, okay, I don't, it looks like we're broadcasting, but I don't hear me talking. So we have a, all right, here we go. We got a 30 second time delay. So you can see we're broadcasting live. Greetings from Russia. Hi, Russia. This is uh, Sam Broadcaster Live DJ. This, we're broadcasting live on the internet at our radio station here, mongnews.org. That's H-M-O-N-G-N-E-W-S dot org, all right? And this is, again, this is the 0900 prayer request. I love your translation. Hey, great. We love you guys over there in Russia, all right? This is the 0900 prayer request, and we're loving you guys. I'm from St. Petersburg. Hey, great, great. Welcome to the 0900 prayer request. And uh, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to play a little music here if I can get this all right. So I want you to listen to this music, okay? Here we go. Again, you can listen live on the internet radio. If you go to mungnews.org, you can hear us live, all right? <laughs> Listen to this, all right? Uh, all right, listen to our music. Ah, yes, my Russian no good. Enjoy the music. This is the 0900 prayer request time. What you're looking at is a YouTube video. This is Ines, and she's singing Mary, Don't You Weep. And this is an annual uh, get-together that's called the Gospel Legends. All these people you see are actually singers. 
and they're gospel singers, and they get together every year. It's called the Gospel Legends. Mary, don't you weep. That's the mother of Jesus, Mary. So if you're weeping in your life today, you don't have to. The Lord Jesus is here. and she's singing hey Mary don't you weep this is go to Russia hey I want to sometime this is the 0900 prayer request and we're broadcasting live on our internet welcome you bet this is the 0900 prayer request we are broadcasting on internet radio right now live we're doing periscope and internet radio okay so let me uh let me get this off here all right and uh let's get back online here on the radio too all right let's take a look here all right the mic is on all right so all right, we should be uh, recording live. It'll come on live here. So, you want to hear us live. Jesus is alive. Go ahead, block someone you don't agree with. Hey, well, Hillary, welcome. <laughs> wow, you don't mix words. Thank you. I need that joke this morning, all right? Hey, have a little caffeine relax, huh? Ah, uh, hey, you do, you can go, <laughs> you can hear us, I'm, I'm listening to the music and me talking on internet radio, we're broadcasting live right now, you can go to Hmong News, H-M-O-N-G, N-E-W-S dot org, click on the link there, and you can listen on your internet radio, to this live broadcast on Periscope.com. I'm broadcasting from Missouri, right here. This is Missouri in the center of the U.S. Amen. My name is Missionary Norman Edgar. I'm a pro. Ooh, ooh, my sign fell down, folks. Bear with me as I put this thing back up. All right. Uh. All right. All right. All right, we're going to have to do something here. Hold on, folks. Bear with me. I know you guys got on Periscope. Uh, let me turn this off here. 
All right. There we go. All right, our mic is on. We should be coming across. Uh, sorry about this on our little thing here. It didn't mean to fall down. All right. I'm going to have to put this somewhere where it won't fall. This is help you guys. You can go to mungnews.org. Let me see if I can get you set up here a little bit different. Hold on a minute. We get you set up here. All right. All right, let's see. How's that? Can you see it now without me in the way? I think that'll work. All right, mungnews.org. All right. We're broadcasting live on internet radio, but it looks, it looks like we're not broadcasting live. Let me, uh, let me disconnect here, folks, and we will reload again. You can go to mungnews.org, H-M-O-N-G, N-E-W-S dot org, O-R-G, O-R-G, and you can listen on internet radio, click the link there, all right, and let's see, we need to show you what I'm doing here, you're looking at the Sam Broadcaster Live DJ, all right, now right now I'm connecting live on the internet, and this actually has the ability to go to three... 3 billion internet connected computers. You believe that? Through the internet. All right, the mic is on. All right, and it's in, it shows that it's buffering now. This is this indication here is showing that we have about a 20 second delay when you use internet radio from okay, from me talking it goes up to the cloud and into this. And now the voice v, uh, FX, I'm going to turn the mic on, press the talk, and now <clears throat> I'm broadcasting live, and you won't hear anything for about 20 seconds until I come on. If you're on, if you go to mungnews.org, that's H-M-O-N-G, N-E-W-S dot org, you'll hear me talking as we're broadcasting live here on Periscope. All right, here we are. My name's Missionary Norman Edgar. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary. I'm 70. My wife Selma, 69. She's coming on at uh, 11 o'clock this morning. Now it's 9:15. We're broadcasting here from Missouri, right there. We're broadcasting from our home, which is the center of the universe. You guys didn't know that, did you? All right, here we go. The 0900 prayer request, what are we really about, you know? You hear a lot of this religious gobbledygook out there today. Got every kind of scam scheme you can think of. Selling your books, cassettes, singing and doing this and doing that and trying to reach in your back pocket and get your money all at one time so you don't realize you're giving them money and making them rich. And that's what it's all about, folks. Organized, evangelical, Protestant Christian religionists are about this. Every little church house you see in the United States, Australia, Europe, it's all about the same thing. It's about getting more of that so they can take their vacation, send their kids to school, the whole nine yards. And they'll say anything to get you to come in. You can dress any way you want. You can look like the absolute worst slob on the block. And you can go to church as long as you got a little of that. You can have any kind of hang-up, sin life, and you, and you can walk right in there and somebody have a 12-step program for it to help you on along. You understand? It's a social site. It's a social, it's like the web almost. <laughs> hey, let's go have a cup of coffee and chit-chat about anything and everything and what's politically correct. All right? It has nothing to do with salvation. This book, the Protestant Christian Bible, New Testament Truths of Jesus, is completely ignored in the church pulpits of today. What you're hearing today in the Protestant, evangelical Protestant churches, no matter what the, what the name is in front of it, 
They're all saying the same thing. It's a social gospel. I've been in hardline Pentecostal churches, Trinity Pentecostal churches, to the to the weirdos of the Presbyterian Methodists that believe that they are predestined to go to hell. They believe in predestination like the Southern Baptists. They think God chose them before they were born and they're going to heaven because they're called of God. They actually believe it, folks. I'm not making it up. Go to Mr. Google, ask him. And everyone else is predestined to go to hell. That's the truth. One day I was at a service and this guy was one of these predestined lynches. So I said to him, I said, what's the point of having, what's the point of being a missionary? If God's already called and selected certain people to go to heaven and elders to go to hell, what's the point of the missionary? And you know what this guy says to me? Oh, well, we gotta, you got to go out there and find him. Duh. <laughs> Just it's wacko, wacko, wacko mole. All right, they just anything and everything. The Seven Day Adventist Church. You see them all. You know this Dr. Ben Carson guy on the political thing here in the states. He's talking about how he's he he came up out of the slums and made it. Great neurosurgeon, intelligent man, great, right? The guy's a seven-day Adventist. He's talking about his Christian values and all that. He is an absolute scam, folks. He's not telling you the truth. You know why? Go to Mr. Google and ask Mr. Google what uh, what the beliefs are of the seven-day Adventist church. Now, you know anybody with a lick of common sense, a lick, that's a small mouth knows that the Bible is about heaven or hell. You can ask you can ask the worst criminal or the most educated person. It doesn't mean they believe it. They know what it's about. Being good, go to heaven. You're evil, you're going to go to hell. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry on the block knows that, but Dr. Ben Carson, the seven-day Adventist, you know what they believe? The seven-day Adventist? There's no hell. So I, I, I tell you, how bright they really are spiritually. This guy named Romney that run for president last time go around was a Mormon. Them Mormons are they're wackier than the Seven Day Adventists. They're talking about we're from another alien race that came here and the gods intermarried with the women and just garbage. And this guy is some kind of Christian leader. He is no more a Christian then I'm a space alien, all right? But people just fall right in line because people are clueless about what's really going on. All right, let's see. I don't seem to be here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me... T yeah, let's see. I'm trying to hear my voice here. Let me check make sure my system is on here. Yeah. I have a Wi-Fi mic system, and sometimes, well, I'm really messing up that I don't hear me broadcasting. And, uh, okay, let me try this again, folks. You're going to have to bear with me in Periscope land. I'll let you see what I'm doing. I'm working on the, um, this is the control panel of the Sam Broadcaster Live DJ, and I'm broadcasting live. All right, and so uh, I think we have an issue. Let's see. All right, let's see if we're broadcasting. Uh, all right, I think we'll have to go off and uh, come back on, I think. All right, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go off and come back on. Seems like we have an issue here, and... Uh, all right, so let me get this back up. Bear with me, folks. All right, and uh, let's see. Let's listen to our... This will let us know if our radio's on. I'm sure it is. Let's see. All right. Let's listen to this here. All right, I'm going to see if it's on. Come on, radio. Come on. Come on. All right, let's just screw this, okay? Let me go. All right, hang in there, folks, with me there on Periscope. This is Missionary Norman Etker, and you get the you get this great privilege <laughs> looking at my screen. I'm loading up 
uh, our internet radio site, okay? So I'm going to go to Hmong, H-M-O-N-G dot org, all right? And here I am there, and I'm going to click on our radio link right here. Click to go to internet radio, all right? So I'm going there. You guys probably can't see that on your screen. All right, and so I'm going to hit the play button right up here. And let's see what we got here. All right. So let's listen, and uh, we know that's my wife, Selma. Anticipating what God has in store regarding a future husband. All right, so we know here we are. If you go there now, you'll listen to that. All right, now we're going to go to the broadcaster itself. Here's our control panel. Now I'm going to go live, and what we have is a broadcast control. And this is Sam Broadcaster Live DJ. And now I'm going to connect to the same stream that you're listening to on radio. Now it's buffering. And what happens is we've got about a 20 to 30 second delay from the time I start talking when I turn the mic on. So we can see that this is loading now. All right. Buffering. All right. And uh, it's loading yet. All right. Still buffering, still loading. All right, now it's told me I'm on the air live. Now I'm going to click on the mic. I'm going to turn the mic on, and then I'm going to lock it, and now I'm talking. All right. Now I'm live on the air, and I'm talking to you here on Periscope. So we're doing two things at the same time, and hopefully you'll bear with it. But you can go here. This is the 0900 prayer request time. All right, got it? Prayer request. Oh, sorry. The mongnews.org you see behind me, mongnews.org. All right. Now, I I can I can hear I can I can hear that now, see. All right. All right. All right, let's see. Okay. So I'm listening to myself talk as I'm talking to you, so it gets a little confusing sometimes. This is my this is my second day of doing this, the internet radio station, and talking to you guys at the same time. But yesterday we advertised on our social media sites that we were going on the internet at the same time, simultaneously with uh, Periscope. And we broadcast on WordPress, Periscope, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Flickr, VK, VK is Victor K and Kilo, VK, and Path. These are all free free social media sites. I, we don't pay anything for nothing except for this program, the internet radio station. And we're a non-for-profit, so a person made a donation that enabled us to get this. And we got a discount too because we're a non-for-profit, okay? But all of these that I just named to you, these are free websites, all right? And you know, of course, Periscope is free too. All right, so yesterday was our first, really first publishing uh, internet periscope combination day. And believe it or not, yesterday we had, a, on periscope, 819 views on our three-hour program yesterday. 819 views. That means people from around the world were coming on and taking a look and communicating with us. I want to show you something. Take a look at this, all right? All right, take a look here. 
Now you're looking at uh, at the map, right? And so, right, I can show you now. This year, this year, all these little white tabs are people that have contacted us from around the world. It's all over, all the way down here to New Zealand, okay? And so, our greatest concentration because of the time slot, we broadcast at, at 9 o'clock in the morning, Central Standard Time. It's right in the center of the United States in Missouri. So, it makes it around 7, 8 o'clock in the evening, the same day in the Middle East. So, we're picking up onto a lot of Islamic... Uh, fundamentalists and people that really don't know anything about Christianity and we're broadcasting here to these people in the United States who are absolutely clueless about being spiritually born again they're just different groups of religionists they don't follow the Bible they don't believe the Bible they don't think it's necessary to do what Jesus says they follow their own written doctrines it's just false and meaningless religions. So the basic religions here of the Middle East and here are basically the same. They are religionists. That means religionists don't understand how to be spiritually born again. They think by the works that they do, they are justified before God. And that's absolutely false. Okay? Let me turn you around here. Well, one thing about it, when I'm talking up there at the map, I can't see what you're saying. Hey, hi. And I guess that's good. Yesterday, we had 819 views on, on Periscope. We're broadcasting live now. I'm using this. This is an internet radio station, live broadcast on internet radio. I, I pray on Periscope too. Hey, well, that's good. I hope you're praying to the right God, okay? Seems so many people, he, seen so many people healed on Periscope. I don't, I'm not so sure I'd go along with that. Jesus heals them. Well, I, 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 I have my doubts about that, okay? And I'll show you why here. Let me show you something here. Uh, oh. Let me... All right, let's see. I want to show you something. Okay. Uh, yesterday, again, we had 819 viewers. Hold on, I want to show you something, and I thought I had that out here, just for this purpose. All right, hold on, I want you to see this. This is good. I think it's right. Oh, yeah, I think it's right here. Hold on, hold on. All right, let's see. Alright, hold on there. <laughs> you just have to bear with me, man. <laughs> it's the old night and prayer request. Hang on, the old man, Norman. That's me, Protestant Christian missionary for 40 years. Let me get you tuned in here. Oh, I want to show you something. Alright. Uh, golly, the... Oh, here we are. Here we are, my man. You still out there, man? You, you with me yet, or did you click off? to get upset and run away. All right, my man. I'm not saying that this is what you guys are doing, but I want you to listen to this, okay? No, we love people in God. I don't know about all that either, all right? Okay, because every religion says that and they can make their God anything they want, and they all say they love people. Come on, Gandhi, Martin Luther King, Islam, it's not religion. Well, I hope, well, I'm going to give you a little test, see if you're for real or not, but 
It's personal relationship with Jesus. Okay, well, I'm still going to give you a little test. But before I do that, hold on a minute and listen to this, what I'm going to say. Now remember, oh my God, you, Kurdish? No, oh my God, no. <laughs> hey, guy, I'm, I'm here. This is the 0900 prayer request, and I'm broadcasting here in Missouri. All right. Hey, okay, you Jesus guy, what am I going to call you? Come back up and tell me your name anyway. Where are you at? Come on. I got to talk to you. Amber. Oh, you're a girl. All right, Amber. How old are you? Yes. <laughs> okay. How old are you? And how long have you accepted Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Oh, in the 20s. That means you're 29 getting old, huh? So, uh, how long do you consider yourself spiritually born again? Now, think about it, Amber. Yes, okay. When did you become spiritually born again? All right. When I accepted Jesus into my heart, Holy Spirit, okay. When did that happen? Amber, if you don't mind. When did that happen? Uh, how long ago, I guess, would be the word. Right? All right, we're on radio here, broadcasting live at the same time. If you go to mongnews.org and click on the radio link, about seven years ago, all right? Have you been in, when you, when you uh, accepted Christ, what was the name of the church denomination you were involved with at that time? What was the name of the church denomination you got involved with at that time? City Point, still the same. So what, what, what? Everybody's got a name, but what are they? They Methodist, Presbyterian, Pentecostal, okay? But it's about Jesus, okay? So what are you? You the Trinity or you oneness? All right, what are it? Amber, Trinity or oneness? All right. Amber, Trinity, or oneness in the Pentecostal realm? Trinity, but they're all, but they are all one. <laughs> so you're, you believe that when you die and go to heaven, all you're going to see is Jesus, right? No. Jesus the Son. God the Father, okay, all right, Holy Spirit the Comforter, okay, you're getting good, you're getting there, you're passing the check marks, all right, so when you baptize someone, how, what is your baptismal method, yeah, good, you're, it's another check for you, another good point for you, Amber, you're, you're acing this test so far, Okay, you want to clarify how do you baptize again? What's the method that you say or believe? Okay, you have a relationship. Well, okay. Okay. All right. You're doing good, girl. All right. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read you something. This, this may not apply to you. All right, so just relax, okay. So far, you've aced the test, okay? But be cool. You might get that big red F coming. All right, here we go. I want you to just listen. This is kind of cute. My wife, Selma, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm 70. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary. Been one 40 years. Trinity Pentecostal, but, you know, hey, it's all about the book. 
And there's only one book. The Protestant Christian Bible is the divine inspired word from God to man and only the New Testament truths of Jesus, the Apostle and Evangelist, is the ruling guide for today's spiritually born-again people. Not religionists, not Pentecostal people, not Lutheran people, not uh, Baptists, Amish, Mennonite, Lutheran, Roman Catholic, they're not, they're not saved people. They're religionists. And the church that you go to, probably, Amber, about three quarters of the people are backsliders, and God's not going to have anything to do with them. When I say backsliders, that means that they come to that church house, that building with the cross on the top every week, and then at end of the day, Monday morning pops up, they're back to their 9 to 5 job and could care less if people are dying and going to hell. That's how you really kind of shuck and jive through all this talk. We go over to fellowship and take Christianity to the public. We pray for people in shops. Okay. Hold on. Let me read you this to you. I got to read this to you, okay? All right. I, I'm going to give you a C on that statement you made there, okay? I don't know about that loving people part. Okay, here we go. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. Now, listen to this. This is good. God is love. Well, that don't make you love, though, does it, Amber? Okay, here we go. The statement in the first statement, of, this is, a, okay, this, this is about different, different programs that so-called Protestant evangelical churches, Pentecostal to non-Pentecostal, have in their services today, in the program of the church, all right? They have these different programs to help people, all right? People with all kinds of problems, they got all these 10-step programs, 12-step programs, whatever. I want you to listen to this, all right? And really, Selma comes on at 11 o'clock this morning, about an hour and a half, but she really researched this and got this in French, so I just got it from her. I think it's good. All right, I'm going to stop talking about it and read it to you. All right, hey, hi there. Hey, you might be wondering what the mic is. We're broadcasting live on Internet Radio, same time we're talking here on Periscope. Go to mongnews.org, O-R-G, mong, H-M-O-N-G, N-E-W-S dot org, and click on the radio link. And this goes to 3 billion people around that are connected to the Internet. That's a mini tower laptop besides the smartphones and tablets. But the majority of the people of the world, 3 billion live in India and 3 billion live in China. That's our, that's our target goal, those 3 billion people, not just the 7 or 8 million on Periscope. All right, so here we go. I'm going to read this again. All right, here we go. The statement in the first step that the individual is powerless over the substance abuse related behavior at issue refers to the lack of control over this compulsion which persists despite any negative consequences that the person may endure as a result. All right? This is the first step in these 12 step programs. The statement in the first step that the individual is powerless can do nothing. That's what you got to confess the, the, from the get-go, right out of the gate. Here's the name of some of these programs that are, are, are out there right now. And a lot of these are run right through the church house, all right? It's, it's 1.40. I got to head off and sleep. I mean, I'll show you. God love you. Night. Hey, good night. Compulsive hoarding, distractibility, eating disorders, dysfunctional enabling, hyperactivity, hypomania, insomnia, irritability, lack of motivation, laziness, mania, panic attacks, psychosomatic illnesses, poor impulse control, procrastination, that might be mine, self-injury and suicide attempts. These are all the different 
12-step programs for people. Basic psychology, they, the, and they, a lot of these are sponsored and run through churches. People don't care about what the Bible says and who, what Jesus can do for you. That's not what's taught in the churches today. All right. My name's Missionary Norman Nectar. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary. All right. This is the 0900 prayer request, and we're broadcasting simultaneously right here. We're on internet radio as well as broadcasting here on Periscope. The 0900 prayer request time is about you talking to God. Yesterday we had a record viewership on Periscope. We had 819 views during our three-hour program yesterday on Periscope. We were broadcasting live on internet radio at the same time. You can see if you go to mongnews.org, mongnews.org. And you can get there too. Hey, uh, Selma, yeah. would you mind uh, taking this sign? <clears throat> All right. When you outline that in red, also next to the black, please. Okay. And, and blue, black, red. I guess would be good. All right. So. We are broadcasting on the internet radio station. As you can see here, here's our broadcast control module that you can see here. All right. We're using Sam Broadcaster Live DJ. All right. And this is a program that allows you, there are approximately 3 billion internet connected computers in the world three billion with a B boy and there's now get this there's three billion people in India and three billion people in China hey hi so we want to connect with those people in that part of the world all right you'll be surprised that all you know about is just religions, all right? And religions aren't any good. They, they are false and meaningless. There is only one truth, and that comes from this book, the Protestant Christian Bible, and only the Protestant Christian Bible, New Testament truths of Jesus, the Apostle and Evangelist, is the way of salvation. But this book is neglected, abused, and has has been so messed with that you couldn't even begin to understand anything when you go into these churches. Evangelical Protestant Christian churches worldwide, Australia, Europe, the States, Asia, and Southeast Asia, you'll find that every Tom, Dick, and Harry that thinks there's somebody has written what they think the Bible means and they start a whole denomination and call themselves Lutheran, Presbyterian, Methodist, Amish, Mennonite. You got people living <coughs> in the 18th century, no electric horse and buggy and think that's God's plan for their life. They're out there in La La Land and don't have sense enough to, re to realize that they're being deceived. You got the Roman Catholics who believe anything comes down the pike. They'll worship and pray to anything that walks, talks, or crawls. I, I, I'm serious. Anything float on the water, they'll go out there and bless it, man. Anything, go walking, they'll bless it. Anything doesn't make any difference. It's weird, man. It's just religions. Religions are what you do to gain some kind of justification before the God you want to serve or you think you're serving. The Roman Catholics are worshiping evil. Evangelical Protestants are worshiping evil because in this they reject the basic truths of this book and substitute and write what they want to write. That's why we have a pathetic mess in the Protestant evangelical Christian world today. There's no truth being taught, all right? Today, when you become a Christian, it's about this. These people don't even understand the basics. The basics of become spiritually born again is grace, 
justification and repentance. It's real simple. But when you go to a church today, it doesn't make those buildings with the cross on the top. It doesn't make any difference which one you walk into. They're going to spin some kind of story about how that you need to be a better person in your life. And they'll use something out of a three-point sermon to show you that you are just really in, in sin against God. You're living below your, your place and everything like that. And they want you to do something. Because they don't understand grace. They don't understand how you're justified. And they surely don't understand repentance. Repentance means you turn to the truths of Jesus, the Apostle of Angela, in the Protestant Christian Bible. As you read and you understand. Nobody else. You. Okay, you. All right. You, you, you. All right. You might be wondering why I got this headphone on. It's a uh, Logitech. Uh, Wi-Fi mic system and we're broadcasting live on internet radio station now you go to mongnews.org h-m-o-n-g mongnews.org alright you can go there here it is mongnews.org alright h-m-o-n-g n-e-w-s dot org you can go there and click the radio link and you can listen live alright we're broadcasting live on that this morning it is, what is it? Let's take a look. All right, today is Sunday, the 27th of November. Wow, we've got three more days after today, and it's all over, folks. December coming in. All right, yesterday we had, uh, as of yesterday on Periscope, we've had 237 1,971 hearts, and we have a total of views, 22,104, and on Periscope, we have 493 followers, all right? We're, look, my name's Missionary Norman Edgar. I'm 70 and Selma 69. We're not out to, we don't want your money. We're not selling anything. We don't represent any religions. The, all the religions, it doesn't make any difference which ones they are. From the Trinity Pentecostals to the Lutheran, Methodist, Presbyterian, Southern Baptist, they're false and meaningless. Amish, Mennonite, they're... Uh, Bible church, non denominate it doesn't make any difference. They're, they're meaningless organizations. They can do nothing for you. Why? How can I how can I possibly make that statement? You can find out for yourself. Here's the book, The Protestant Christian Bible, first translated in English in fifteen hundred. It is our current English Bible. Alright? This is the only book that is divinely inspired from God to man. The only one. There's no other. Now, when you go to the New Testament truths of Jesus the Apostle and Evangelist, that is what you're going to be listening to. That's it. That is what it's all about. The New Testament truths of Jesus the Apostle and Evangelist. Not someone explaining it to you. You're going to read it. And you're going to decide. Do I want to follow Jesus? Hello? Hello? That's what it's all about. You're going to decide if you want to go and do as Jesus says. All right? And so people... <laughs> They read that and they just don't know. Oh, no. But when you go to any of these churches, they're not going to tell you to come. They want you to pay out that money to them so they can continue. Don't believe what you hear in the church house. I've heard people say that that's their family. They love the church. They love the people. They love everything. And those people are like the proverbial frog in the frying pan with the water. You know the story. They put the pan on the stove and turn the stove on. They got water in the pan. They put the frog in the, in the pan. 
And he thinks everything's good until the heat starts boiling the water. Hey, hi. This is the 0900 prayer request time. And I'm broadcasting live on internet radio at the same time I'm doing this Periscope broadcast. All right. You can go to mungnews.org and click on the radio link. What are you talking about? Amen. Now let's try this again. Prayer request. My name is Missionary Norman Edgar. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary. And I've been one for 40 years. How about you? Do you, uh, you go to church there, my friend? Or not? Oh, I shouldn't say go to church. Do you believe in Jesus? That would be better. Church is meaningless, okay? So, are you in love with Jesus? Is He your Lord and Savior of your life? Or are you just a wanderer trolling through the Internet? What do you think, huh? I'm broadcasting from Missouri right here, all right? This, right here, this is what it's about, all right? Becoming a Christian is involved in understanding grace, justification, and repentance. I don't know. Well, you're, you're just lost. Okay, there's, there's millions of people just like you, lost. You've never heard the way of salvation. More life. You're a millennial. You're clueless about it. Because if you get involved with anything with religions, right, the buildings with the cross on the top, you know, they're not going to tell you the straight shot of it. you got to love God with all your mind, heart, soul, and strength, right? But they, look, here's a simple way I can say to you. Stop war with Russia and China. Stop war. What's that got to do with you? All right, here, this book is about you. When you look at the Protestant Christian Bible, New Testament Truths of Jesus, you're going to read the New Testament truths of Jesus, the Apostle and Evangelist. You're going to decide, do you believe what you're reading? You'll say yes or you'll say no. You say yes and follow through, you'll go to heaven. You say no, you're going to go to hell. Okay? You don't go to hell for what you've done. You know what I mean? As far as your sins you commit, that doesn't do it. What sends all people to hell is the rejection of the truths of Jesus the Apostle and Evangelist in the Protestant Christian Bible New Testament. Jesus said, If you love me, keep my commands. Jesus' commands. I will follow you on Periscope. Well, I don't want you to follow me. I want you to get the book. All right? Read the book. You're going to decide, not me. You understand? I don't have nothing to do with you loving Jesus. You're going to, you're going to decide, not me. If you're looking at me as some kind of icon to help you to understand about Jesus, I will fail every time. You understand? You're going to read. It's your faith. Your free will is going to say, yes, Jesus, I believe in you. Help me. <laughs> I can do nothing for you, friend. Right now, if you were to die, you'd go to hell. Why? Because you're not living this life in here. And the life you're going to live is what you read, not what somebody in a building with a cross on the top is going to tell you. You understand? It's with this book. You're going to read. You're going to understand. And then you're going to decide. I can't be any plainer than that. It's totally up to your free will. I understand. Tony's what you're saying. My English is no good. Okay. All right. Well... You're 20%. <laughs> I, that, Bible. The New Testament. You are going to read. And you think, hmm. Yes or no, I don't believe you, okay? From Italy. Oh, Italy. Roman Catholicism. Woo! 
sorry for you. <laughs> okay, sorry for you. <laughs> Woo! Roman Catholicism. Ooh. Why I have to read it? <laughs> How are you going to know the truth? You going to listen to me? You listen to people? No. You read the words of Jesus. You decide. All right. Now, let's put this back up here. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's see what we got here. Now, let's see. This is the mongnews.org. All right. Our uh, mongnews.org, all right, that is, uh, I'm broadcasting live, I will go to that, yes, internet radio, radio, now you periscope two things simultaneously, I'm talking on internet radio, look, internet radio, broadcasting live. All right, broadcasting on the radio, internet radio, and Periscope. Now, okay, today is the 0900 prayer request. 0900 prayer request, asking God, all right? This, this is the truth, the this is the truth. The New Testament. Come here. I make an amazing pizza. Hey. Pizza. Pizzas were made in, in New York, not Italy. Italy had no pizza. All right. No such thing in Italy. The pizzas were first created in the United States. It's not from Italy. Okay? Hello. <laughs> All right. This is the 0900 prayer request time. You can go here, mongnews.org, internet radio. Yes. The pizza made in the United States of America. Oh yeah, true, true, true. Not Italy. Pizza, American pizza made in America. Not come from Italy to America. No, 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 no. Okay, check it out. Google, Google. <laughs> Talk to Google. <laughs> okay. Talk to Google. He'll help you. <laughs> and Google can speak many languages, too. <laughs> He's better than me. Hello. All right. <laughs> I'm broadcasting here in Missouri, right here. Missouri. That's me, right here in Missouri. All right. Prayer request. Do you want Jesus to help you in your life? Jesus can help you in your life, okay? All right, I'm going to sign off now. It has been uh, one hour since I've been on. God bless America. You bet, guy. I want him to bless the world. Why are you cursing? Are you cursing me? Why do you say that word? Don't you know that's a that's a very foul, wicked word to say to a stranger? Would you want someone to talk to your mother like that or your father and say that to your mother, your father, your sister? All right. I don't know who you are or what. Yeah, I don't go along with all that, but bye.